What's up guys? Good morning. It is currently around 5.53 or it is 5.53 in the morning. It is my move-in day for Northeastern 2023. This year I'm going to be living in a building called Davenport B. It's like upper class mid apartment style housing and living with three other of my friends. Eric, Nick, and Aiden. I'm so excited to be back, but it's kind of sad leaving you home, so I'm going to go head to my car, load up the rest of my stuff, and I'll see you guys on the road. All right, I just finished loading up my car with the last additional bags. As you can see, it's literally packed to the absolute brim. Just getting ready to say goodbye to home for just a little while. <sighs> Taking it all in. Security, I know this is bad, but please put a leash on me anyway. Who needs self esteem anyway? I hate myself to make you stay. Push me away, I'll be right here with open, open, open. All right, so I just made it to Boston and I'm actually at my building right now, which is right behind me. I'm loading a car right now, it's gonna be super hectic, so I'm not gonna record a lot, but I'm just gonna get to it. Now I'm inside my building, we're in the elevator, and we're about to see what the room looks like. Hopefully it's pretty nice. Alright, so I just made it into my room. I'll give you guys a little bit tour of a tour later. This is actually outside my room. This is the view so far. It looks pretty nice. Honestly, the most challenging part so far of moving has been cleaning this place. It is like pretty dirty, if I'm being honest with you. Um, like when I got here, I'd say is honestly a lot dirtier than it is now like the floors are all right but it's like there's just there's just marks and stuff and i didn't have to just clean my room obviously i have to clean the living room area which i'll just show you real quick right here i just have to clean all the seats and the kitchen um not the kitchen the dining room table and then i obviously have to clean this kitchen area which is pretty, pretty gross. There's some stuff, and honestly, I think there's some mold inside that dishwasher, but I'll have to clean that eventually as well. Thankfully, my mom is here helping me out with a lot of the cleaning and stuff, but so far, a lot of this has been a pretty gross process, but I'm just getting it done, getting it out of the way so I can enjoy the few days I have before class starts on the 6th, which I'll also be vlogging. I kind of took a break from vlogging for a bit because I was like kind of low on creative energy. Didn't really know what to film, but honestly, I'm just trying to pick it up where I left off and make some cool content about Northeastern and try to help you guys out. All right, just as a quick little update as to where I'm at regarding my move-in. It's been a few more hours. I think it's around two o'clock right now. So basically, I finally got my desk set up with everything, my monitor, some other stuff here. I saw some stuff that's actually at my cousin's house that I'm waiting on, but I uh, should be getting that pretty shortly. Um, then I've got still to set up my bed, which my mattress topper is also with my cousin. Um, put my flag up for Fiji. Put all my clothes in there. Still got clothes to put in here. Um, but so far it's looking pretty nice. Thankfully a lot cleaner than when I got here. Um, so I'll just give you guys a quick tour of the living room, I guess. So, so far the living room is just something like this. Got a couch here, a few of them. Then we've got a little nice dining table here. And then actually we've got a good amount of windows, so good lights coming through. I'm actually just turn my ND filter up so you guys can see a little bit better outside. That is the view over there of like the Pru and some of the other nicer buildings. We've got Carter Field right here. And then pretty much main campus is all the way over there. Only annoying part about it is that sometimes when the tea comes through, it's a little loud. But otherwise, I can't complain about the view and I can't really complain about the size of the apartment. But then I kind of can because I'm paying a pretty penny for this place. But so far, it's shaping up to be a pretty nice place. And I'm super excited to kind of get everything figured out and give you like a completed tour of everything. This is kind of what the bathroom looks like. It was pretty rough when I got here. I'm not going to lie. Um, obviously, bathroom here. Give you guys probably a more in-depth tour later on. Really, really weird side note. I really like spinning chairs and this one has it. So I'm super happy about that. And honestly, I forgot to show you guys a better view of my room. 
Once again, nice view of Carter, getting to DC. Actually, I forgot. No, I lied. I think this one's Carter, and this is some other one, but they're both Northeastern. And then here's another cooler shot of the crew, the other nice buildings here. Boom. And I don't know, it's cool that we got a nice sidewalk view instead of this dumpster like I had last semester, which was really gross. It wasn't terrible, but definitely could have had something better. Like a few of my friends had actual views, but I didn't. Mm. All right, guys, so I pretty much just completely finished moving into my apartment here in Dav D. Um, the desk looks pretty much exactly the same as before. Um, here's like my bedding and all that stuff. Uh, it's right here. Got an ottoman here and pretty much all of that looks the same. And I'll walk you guys out to get a shoe rack here, bathroom, cleaned it all up here. Once again, same living room. What we did is we ended up moving the fridge right here just for a little bit more room to get it out of that little corner and just put a mini fringe there. I'm actually about to head to the gym with my friend Charlie and he should be coming. He actually lives in a building that's really close to us. It's called 780 Columbus, which I believe is, if I can just screw this down, which is actually just down the street that way. And that's 780 Columbus. The gym that we're going to is called Squash Busters and it's right there. I don't think I'm gonna bring my vlog camera there just because I don't really want it to get damaged. Also, like I low-key still have some kind of, like a little bit of anxiety filming in public, but I'll probably get over it as I continue to make more videos this year. But I really, really just wanna get consistent with posting because I feel like a lot of the videos that I make about Northeastern are definitely something that incoming students and current students will probably enjoy and value. Honestly, I also might try to post some more content that's specific to what I like to do. Some things that I'm pretty interested in are business, finance, personal finance, travel. Um, I do a lot of data science stuff, so maybe I'll start doing that. And I also just like to lift and exercise. So hopefully some of that content will be coming soon. Obviously, like I said, I just gotta get consistent with the content. And if you guys have good responses to it, then I'll continue to post more. Let's put below what you guys kinda wanna see from me. Um, I could do a day in the life, any type of those videos, but yeah. Just grab the boy, Charlie. <laughs> you I haven't seen him in like a minute. We're about to have a really nasty workout. He's probably one of the craziest motherfuckers I know, but like not really, because he's just lame sometimes. But we're about to hit a really juicy back day. Um, it's great. See, look at this gear. But we're gonna hit a pretty nasty lift. I'll see you guys after. Yeah, back up, yeah, back up. So I just finished my workout with Charlie and now my friend Joan is probably going to come around 8 o'clock and then I've got to cook dinner so I'll show you some of that. It's actually my first time cooking in this apartment. Haven't cooked in a minute since I was home so hopefully it turns out pretty well. Hopefully I don't eat some raw chicken tonight but I guess I'll show you guys a little bit of what I'm cooking up. It's pretty much bare bones. I have some chicken and not really much else so we'll see what we can do. <laughs> it's Jonah. He is back. He spent like the whole summer here in BU, so I kind of missed him for a bit, but thankfully he's back. We're gonna get to working on some cool projects. I don't know it's if you have anything to say. Place. To this place vlog. is incredible. Huge. The view plus the room. The vibes are immaculate. I was but, just gonna say, immaculate. But like not really, because we have pretty bare walls, and I guess I'll show you guys the view at nighttime. It's the location, location, location. This is kind of the view at night. We got the field and obviously, once again, the crew. A little view of that. I'll do a better tour when I do the actual full in depth dab beef tour, I guess. I'll do that later on in the year once I get more familiar with stuff. But. I'm not gonna lie. I would just like, I would just keep watching the cars go up and down the street and try to. All right, so I just ended up cutting up some chicken thighs. I'm probably gonna make some kind of. Asian style chicken with whatever spices I have in here. I'm, like I said, pretty bare in what I have in my fridge. I literally only have meat and some ramen, so I'll try to see what I can scrap together and show you guys the results. It's not looking so good. It's looking like a very bachelor type meal. 
All right, so I'm cooking some of this stuff right now, and I'm not gonna lie, this might be one of my greatest cooking fails. Usually, I make pretty good food, but I'm not so sure how I feel about this meal that I'm making right now because I was originally gonna go Asian inspired because I was going ramen, but I found out that I actually don't have sesame oil, so that kind of screwed me up because I started with black pepper and looked at the rest of my spices, and I was like, yeah, I'm missing a lot of these Asian spices like mm -hmm. Szechuan peppercorns and all the stuff that I usually have at home, which kind of stinks, so I'm really hoping that it doesn't turn out that bad. Also, I look like a psycho because I'm literally carrying around my tripod um, try to vlog. It's actually giving me a pretty good shoulder workout. But I will update you guys as soon as I finish this. And I guess I'll do a little taste test reveal and let you guys know if I did a good job or a bad job, but I'm hoping it just turns out all right. All right, so I just ended up finishing cooking all my stuff. I have my chicken here, like the white pepper, um, garlic, chicken. It's like actually not too bad, honestly, but it's kind of bland. Um, hopefully, I cook so on some other vlogs. I'll definitely cook like actual food once I have ingredients. But I'm just making do with what I have. So I guess you guys can enjoy this nice view of the outside. But honestly, I think I might end the vlog here or sh after I shower. That's about it. Um. All right guys, so I'm pretty tired now and I think I'm just gonna wrap it up here and call it a day. It's 12 a.m. right now and I'm just ready to go to bed. I showered and the only complaint that I have in terms of the water quality in Boston is it isn't great adjusting from the water that I have back home in New York. My skin is a little drier than it is normally when I get out of the shower, which kind of sucks, sucks, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed it, like the video, whatever, I don't really care. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.